Wow, you guys, about to react to a new video. Rachel Maddow went on The View, and she fell right into Joy Behar's nonsense. So I need you guys to stick along to the back end of the video to see what I have to say about it. But right now, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. About to get right to it. Okay, so let me ask you this, because there's been a lot of talk about Trump seeking retribution if he gets into office yeah. uh, for his legal troubles, for his personal troubles, for his hair, whatever. <laughs> um, he always has somebody to blame, you know? Um, so you said recently that you thought that you, as an outspoken critic, could be a target yourself. Some people think that sounds overdramatic, but I'm right there with you. I think that he is so um, vindictive yeah. that he will go after however he has to through the irs maybe uh, or even uh, you know uh, through sponsors to get us off the air maybe and, or you yeah. um how seriously should we be taking that well uh, so i was asked am i worried about me and my answer was i'm worried about all of us i'm no yeah. no more worried about me than i am worried about everybody in the right. country yeah. i think it's bad to have somebody saying give me as much power as you can in this country so i can use it to go after other Americans, so I can yeah. use it to go after these yeah. subhuman internal enemies and I'll yeah. destroy them. Yeah. Like, that's just not a good system for anybody. And I don't think anybody's safe if that's the sort of basis on which he wants to get more well, power. Well, remember when Nixon had an enemies list? That was a proud moment for a lot of people if they were on the enemies yes. list. Maybe we need to turn it around like that. Well, I don't, I mean, I think that if he decides that he's going to go after you or, or me or anybody who's well known, um, you know, we have resources, we'll, be, we're, we'll likely be fine, but the, I, I think there's a pattern where he picks out individual people mm -hmm. and effectively terrorizes them. But, but yeah, I mean, there's yeah, Stormy yeah. Daniels wearing a bulletproof vest to yeah. get yeah. into it's ridiculous. the courthouse, when, right? Once you have political violence, you have fascism following that. Yeah. So uh, you've characterized some of Trump's rhetoric, rhetoric as being porn pornographically violent. Yeah. 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 It's a good phrase. I like it. Um, in, in just the last weeks, uh, he's joked about his supporters committing suicide. Listen to this. Did you catch this? Yeah. He tells them, wouldn't it be better to commit suicide than to vote for Biden? He's going full Jim Jones now. Right. Yeah. You know, it's like like the Kool-Aid uh, thing. Yeah. What is he? What is is he losing it or what? I, Do they think he's kidding when he says that? What? Uh, there is something that's going on that's just aside from all the politics of it, just deeply weird. Mm -hmm. Like, who's into Hannibal Lecter as a character? <laughs> and just like, throwing it out and there. And just throwing it out there. Like, hey, yeah. first of all, that movie is very... Or old. the sharks. Second, or the sharks. Or the sharks. He's yeah. afraid of sharks. When he talks about crime, he doesn't just talk about crime. He, ta he like, acts... He, kind of, he, he, like, draws you through it. And then they got stabbed, and then they turned the weapon. And yeah. then he t when he was talking the stupid thing about the sharks, he had to go the extra detail to talk about the woman getting her leg bit off. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, it's... it's Stormy like Daniel says he's afraid of sharks. I think he's afraid of sharks, but I also think he's I trying think to make us all afraid of everything. Yeah. But if you know what? If sharks vote for him, then he'll like them again. <laughs> <laughs> there is something weird about talking about all this, talking about things in really bloody, yeah. violent terms all the time. I think it's because well, he's trying to get Well, if you don't have anything else to say, what do you do? Yeah. yeah. He doesn't have I mean, he doesn't, he's trying to, he people, doesn't, he's trying to reach people you know. emotionally so that reason is off the yeah. table and we're just reacting emotionally. Yeah. yeah. I, think more, I think people are starting to go, you know what? This is exhausting. Yeah. It is exhausting. And I think people are starting to go, you know, okay, whatever. Wow, you guys, you could tell Joy Behar was insanely happy to get someone in the room with her that not only would agree with her, but go after attacking Trump with her. She's scared. She's panicking. You know why? Because when Trump gets in office, he has the option to take them off air or go after everyone else that's been bashing him and attacking him nonstop, week after week. I know what I would do if I got in office and I was him. Everyone would be fired. Everyone would be investigated. What, what would you guys do? What would you guys do? Let me know that. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.